If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Fantasy FC Griezmann to check out. We're taking a look at a card who is a 5-star skiller, 4-star weak foot, left-footed, 5 foot 9, high, high work rates on him, uh, while being a unique body type player. As you guys know, Griezmann over here is a, uh, he's a fan favorite, right? Because this card... Normally, he has like really good attacking AI. Um, the build up play with him is generally really, really nice to work with. This card looks kind of crazy because they gave him two incredible playstyle pluses, right? Technical plus is a really big one. And then he also has finesse shot plus. And his finesse shots, as you guys know, from just the player of the month card, right? Just this card right here, who was, let's be honest, an expensive SPC. He was. He was very, very overpriced like crazy. But you know that he takes really good finesse shots. So very curious to see what it's going to be like on this card. Uh, what's interesting about this Griezmann is that you could potentially go in the direction of giving him something like an engine in the future, right? To boost his dribbling to be as high as possible, his pace, whatever, right? It just depends on how well Atletico Madrid does with their next few games um, for him to get those upgrades, right? It's either that or giving him a Hawk as well, right? It just depends on exactly where they uh improve the card right but this card for the most part honestly even with the upgrades he might be used on a hunter just because you want the pace to be as high as possible right he's currently at a 94 94 um so we'll see how that kind of performs in game shooting on the card is in a very very good area passing obviously in a fantastic area too dribbling the only thing that's low is in the balance department but as you guys know with Griezmann his unique body type compensates for the balance being weird on the card right or not weird the way that it's formatted stats wise is weird but in game you know I, I trust me I use the player of the month all the time even now um and it still does pretty well right He's got um, Finesse Shot Plus, Technical Plus, Chip Shot, Incisive Pass, Tiki Taka, Flare, Trivella, and Acrobatic to work with. He has some defensive capabilities. Uh, Griezmann sometimes, from previous cards, actually does defend sometimes, so be very mindful of that. Uh, physicality, 92 for Stamina, so we're kind of looking pretty decent, right? So uh, definitely looks like an interesting card in the attack. We'll just be using him in the 4-3-3 formation, playing at Striker, just to see how he's kind of what he's kind of like in those... Uh, general positions but um yeah let's go see what he's what he's like hopefully he's a beast it's a nice draw on that pass though Oh, he has the controller on backwards. Oh my goodness, man. I shoot and he crosses the ball. I just had to press square to, <laughs> to shoot the ball there. <laughs> oh, man. Where do you guys learn that from? Like, where, where does that come from? Is that from Pez? Might be a Pez thing, I don't know. Well, that was always to be seen, huh? He's probably gonna leave from that one too. Yeah, I don't blame you, brother. That's like FIFA mechanics in a nutshell right there. But we take that, we do take that. Ah, good movement, though. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Good pass, though, initially with Griezmann. I mean, he has crazy finesse shots, that's for sure. If he gets into those situations, you know he's going to pop those in. Ah, 
I definitely should be getting to that. Ooh, almost. Reason's actually pretty good at tree velas from previous versions, so that's why it's good to try those out too. Yeah, that's one way to score. That is one way to score. <laughs> Listen, he's got the skill moves now, so it's skill moves into the finesse shot. And you know the vibe's gotta try to green them as much as possible in this game. Oh, green time we don't score, eh? Unlucky. Oh, he still has it. Good stuff. I like to see. Nice, nice, nice. Griezmann's that other guy, by the way, is that has that attacking AI that like I just need in my life, you know. And uh, you know that's why he was used so much on the RTG whenever I did do the RTG episodes, because this guy just he just knows how to move, man. Look, if Cooley Bolly doesn't do that challenge, like he he every angle I do, like he knows which spots to utilize. You know what I'm saying? Not like cards like that. Oh. Oh. Oh, Koulibaly gets the reach there, eh? Wow. I don't know what just happened right there. Did he just meg him from the Elastico into the green time? He did meg him. He megged him from the Elastico, dude. Wow. That's that's a little crazy. Oh, he blocks it. I like it. Oh, on a green, it would have been a goal for sure. What was that animation, EA? Come on, man. That's such an easy goal there. Oh, it doesn't matter because you want the you want the FIFA mechanics to work, huh? Finesse shot plus, my goodness. Shouldn't have done the force pass there, I was stupid. Hit him with that quickness, Greasy. Ah, I should have gone the other direction there. Beauty. Let's go, Greasy! Huh, <laughs> Greasy with five star skills, man. Oh, what a treat. Oh, oh! <laughs> it's gay, man. It be like that sometimes.
Nice. Ah, oh, couldn't get the green on it there. I moved his keeper on that uh, that occasion. I would say keeper movement from outside the eighteen. I'm down for because like it's cringe to score those opportunities. To be honest, so if someone knows you're gonna do it, you know. Oh, I had to green it, man. I had to green it, but that movement was fantastic. Yeah, keep her movement again. Nice little first time pass there with Greasy. Pretty quick on that skill move, huh? Oh, he tackled earlier, man. Oh, I would have cooked him there for sure, dude. Oh, he's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Was that deflected? Oh, it was. I was so confused there. Oh, bodied. Oh, I still have it. There we go. Sorry, it's lagging because it's PC. You know, PC is poorly optimized, mate. But we did score that one. That's a meta goal. So what I did was I... Um, I passed the ball and I went in the opposite direction and shot. You just couldn't see it because it's lagging. Well, that's one way to score. Technical and finesse shot plus is going to be kind of crazy on now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's going to be nuts, man. Yeah, I just have to wait for him to transition for the easier opportunity there. Ah, that touch. I have to wait for him to come back on side as well. Go. Nice. Just have to make sure I get the uh, the green time on that one. Oh, if I timed it a little bit, like I had to wait for him to go a little bit lower there. That works. I'll try to hit him with a quick left stick there. registration is so bad. It was this one here. 
So I did the pass. This is like this is like typical meta stuff, right? Because you work for the one pass and then you work for the one dribble in the opposite direction. Right? So over here, boom. Pass opposite direction. Right? Because the defender always goes to the other direction when they're defending. So you just take the touch and it sends him. And then we just take the strike there. No timing, because there, there was no way I could time that one, I'll tell you that much. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Griezmann card. So uh, this card, obviously a fantastic card in game. Uh, the things that you notice being low for the current meta of the game is obviously going to be in the pace department because, you know, with attackers nowadays, people want people that are like really, really fast, right? Um, if you go for like certain through balls, certain law passes to him, you know, he's not necessarily going to have like the craziest pace to get past people. But to be honest with you guys, it's pretty much the only thing that's going to be off with the card until he gets those upgrades, right? So hopefully the upgrades can put him, I would say at a minimum like 97, 98 for acceleration and sprint speed. I think that general area would be really good for him. Uh, it's probably going to be a card you still keep the Hunter on, or you can give a Catalyst in the future. It depends on what they do with the improvements, right? But... Generally speaking, it's a really, really good card in game. Like the body type and the dribbling, I didn't really mind that much. You know, he has technical plus, so I couldn't care less, to be honest with you. Um, his finesse shot pluses, I mean, uh, they come off pretty well, right? When you green time those bad boys, like he really slaps those things, right? You know what I like about this card? And you guys know how I am, okay? I, I need attackers that have the authentic attacking AI, but they can actually cook in game. For instance, Izebu. Mbappe, Griezmann, uh, Benzema's card. Benzema gets a special version that gives him chemistry links to anybody. You know, very nice. Um, Correa, even though I haven't used that in form Correa because, you know. Um, but this card's fantastic. And honestly, if he gets the upgrades, he'll just be even better. He's a very, very good card in game. Uh, technical Plus and Finesse Shot Plus. I mean, Technical Plus was an absolutely massive W to give this card. Massive. It's so, so, hel so helpful um, for the general attack his passes are well weighted his shots come off nice like it's just generally a really good card right um, again as usual you gotta try to green time your strikes as much as possible for that really nice concise strike but i mean he's a beast right as it was more of a review for you guys to enjoy than for you to think like oh it's not that crazy right um i think for like top tier meta especially at his price point 4.7 mil um I don't think like top tier pros are going to like super, super like this card, right? Just because of like the pace and stuff, right? And sometimes the work rates in certain positions and stuff for some people, because for me, he's an absolute monster, right? If I'm going to do the tier list, he's an S tier card. I think he's absolutely fantastic. And then obviously, you know, you give him the five star skills and his five star skills are pretty saucy to work with in game, right? You guys can clearly see it. <laughs> did a, did, I did one elastical. And it went through the guy's legs from the green time strike afterwards. So if that doesn't tell you enough, you know, it's it's really good to uh, to have all those things. It just meant it matches the meta of the game a little better nowadays. Right. So um, but yeah, fantastic card. Enjoyed using him. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.